everyone and welcome back to week 9 lecture 5. I want to summarize now the key points from this week lecture on aspect of the business environment and business culture. Here are the few dot points that I would like you to take away from this week material. Now, corporate culture, it's a CEO responsibility, undoubtedly. So they are uh, responsible to understand the shortcomings of the old corporate culture, look in the way to improve that culture to the, in the new way, uh, which could be influenced by all sorts of aspects, predominantly globalization and understand uh, how, what's the best way to actually communicate here that new culture to all the level of the organization. So when we say all the level of the organization, we expect that that corporate culture somewhere or another is represented through your culture orientation of your staff. A second one is using cultural knowledge is crucial. It should start with the uh, building relationship with everyone within the organization and then taking it outside uh, to all shareholders and stakeholders. So understand that knowledge of those different um, cultures that uh, are not only operating within your organization, but could be operating through the businesses that your business itself is interacting with, such as suppliers, uh, marketing organization, financial institution, and so forth, all through concept of globalization. Um, they can actually shape up that culture and then of course your organizational culture new level of organizational culture should be communicated to those external parties cultural training on the other hand is also extremely important uh, what are the factors that actually drive that organizational um, investment into the cultural training predominantly due to the fact of the globalization as well as internal changes. We spoke about the shift of workforce and workforce from various countries might be uh, relevant to your aspects such as the workforce in various sections and therefore your organizational culture has to be adapted uh, to, those, to those changes. And last one, organizational culture sh um, should adopt to meet industry performance standards. So uh, with these different changes within organization, uh, it becomes almost a synonym that different type of organizational culture will drive the expectation within the industry of what should be the right corporate uh, uh, culture. And that itself will shift and raise the bars of the expectation of the organization. Not only that, but over time on those organizations who decide to jump first on that uh, with that particular aspect will actually develop a uh, competitive advantage will uh, will be the one that are going to be drive all the corporate changes within the industry itself and the business environment with that guys I leave you and take care stay safe